In this video, we're going to talk about how to identify the relative maximum and minimum values of the function f of x. So here we have a maximum, a relative max. It's the highest point in that region. And over here we have a relative minimum. Now the location of these values is associated with the x values. So we have a relative max at x equals negative 3. And we have a relative min at x equals 1. Now the actual relative maximum value is the y value that corresponds to this point. So the y value is positive 3. And here the y value is negative 3. So let's say if we were asked to find the location of the relative maximum, we could say that it's located at x equals negative 3. And the location of the relative minimum, we could say it's located at x equals 1. And then for this part, what is the relative minimum value of f of x? So the relative minimum value, that's equal to the y value that corresponds to that point. So that's negative 3. And the relative maximum value is the y value that corresponds to that point, which is positive 3. Let's try another example. So identify all of the relative extreme values, the minimums, the maximums, the location, and their actual values. So here we have a minimum, and we have a relative maximum, a minimum, and another maximum. So the first relative minimum is located at an x value of negative 4, and the second one is located at an x value of 1. The first relative maximum is located at approximately x equals negative 2, and the second relative max is at x equals 4. So that's the location of these extreme values. Now, the first actual relative minimum value has a y value of 2. And the second minimum value, the y value, is negative 1. Now the first maximum value on the left, it has a y value of 5. And the second one has a y value of 3. Now sometimes, depending on what type of problem you're working on, the problem may ask for the entire coordinate of each of these relative maximums and minimums. So for this one, you could say it's located at negative 4, comma 2. And then this maximum have the point, let's put it here, negative 2, comma 5. And for this one, it's 4, 3. And for this minimum, it's 1, negative 1. So you can actually write the entire point if you want to.